Welcome to another Dauntless video. Hello, fellow Slayer. So, you have made the decision to pick up a weapon and help us save the world from the big bad monsters, but, you have no idea what weapon and armor you should aim for, early in the game. This can be a point of frustration for many, but fear not, I'm here to help. My name is Swift and Deadly, and I am a Dauntless content creator. I find the most joy in helping others and I do so on Twitch almost every day. I also have a Discord with over 300 free builds, so if you need inspiration for builds, you will have a wide range to choose from and modify to your liking, this way you never have to pay anyone for a build. If you enjoy my content please consider liking this video, subscribing since it's free and turn your notifications on so you know when I post new content. So, you just entered the game and go through the tutorial, now what? First, I would recommend going to the training ground and trying out all the weapons, this will help you determine your playstyle for the early game. Once you find a weapon you like, take it to your first hunt and see how you like playing it against actual behemoths. If it doesn't feel right, repeat the prior step. So now you have found a weapon that you enjoy slaying with, next, start completing your quests and unlocking new nodes on your slayer's path. You will want to unlock up to node 7 as quickly as you can, to be able to get an item in the game that will help you survive longer in the hunts. I suggest doing public hunts, so you can play with other players, this usually makes the hunts easier for newer players. You will want to complete any island events that starts on the islands you're on. These events happen every 10 minutes after the previous event on that island. But before you get to node 7, we will spend some time at node 3. On the island called Iron Falls. Here, we will need to slay some Skarns, Boreas and Nashers to craft some better armor. We will need to craft the Skarn helmet called the Sight of Stone, Boreas arms and legs called Boreal Might and Boreal March. We will also craft Nasher Cloak, Cap, Grips and Threads which is the full armor set. You will want to unlock your glider as well while on your way to nodes 5 and 7. The glider can be unlocked to the left of node 3. You will also need to do the mission, Call of Kaltuga, to gather the parts you need to craft the Scrave Jacket. Here are the list of items you will need to craft these armor sets as well as what you will need to power surge them later. Be sure to pause and take a screenshot if you need to. Sight of Stone Scrave Wing Jacket Nasher Cap Nasher Cloak Nasher Grips Nasher Treads Boreal Might Boreal March By this time, you should have done several island events, which should have gotten you some cell cores. It's now time to go back to Ramsgate and start crafting some new items. From the landing platform, you will want to go to the blacksmiths, wills for weapons, and moira for armor. Once you have your new armor pieces crafted we will want to open up some cell cores. From the landing platform you will want to go straight then make the first right where you will find a core breaker, use it to open up your cores. Hopefully you have gotten a bunch of cores from your island events and now you will get some good cells. There are some other notable NPCs that you want to remember in Ramsgate. Ark and Drew. This is where you will craft your lantern when we get to that. And the middleman where we will upgrade cells and craft our Omnicell later. There are a couple of new player builds that I would recommend, and they are these two. You will also find a lot more new player builds in my Discord for all the weapon elements. Both of which will be made with the gear we collected earlier, with the exception of the weapon, the lantern, omnicell and upgraded cells. In the weapon for this one, 
We have a cunning cell and a tough cell. In the helm we have a tough cell. In the arms we have a rage hunter cell. In the boots we have a cunning cell and in the chest we have an adrenaline cell. At this point in your journey you won't have a pangar weapon, a lantern or omnicell yet. But when you do, come back to this video and complete the builds. In the lantern there is an etheric attunement cell and the omnicell is iceborne. Once you are done with the armor sets and added the best cells you have, continue until you unlock node 5 on the slayer's path. This will now allow you to unlock lanterns. Unlock the Skarn lantern and go gather these parts from Skarn to craft it. Then, return to Ramsgate and craft it at the middleman. Once crafted, add it to your build and the best cell you have. Here is what you will need to craft it. All parts gathered from Skarn. You now also have the chance to hunt the aforementioned Pangars to craft a new weapon. You can find a Pangar on the 8th island you will unlock called Frostmarch. They are a great early game weapon that will help since there are a lot of blaze behemoths early on. Here is what you will need to craft a Pangar weapon as well as what you will need to power surge it later on. Next continue until you unlock node 7 on the Slayer's Path. This will allow you to unlock Omnicells, unlock the Iceborne Omnicell and go gather the parts needed to craft it. Here are the parts you will need. You will need to fight four different behemoths to get this but they are all behemoths that you have battled before. You also need some Omni Stones and some Rams. Once you have everything, return to the middleman in Ramsgate to craft it. Now that you have a good set of armor, lantern and Omni Cell and a great early game weapon, you should see a noticeable change in your ability to stay alive during the hunts as well as doing more damage to the behemoths. Continue to unlock more islands, do more events, update your cells and other gear to become a formidable slayer. Hope this video was helpful in guiding you through some of the things that will greatly improve your gameplay in the early game. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn your notifications on for more content like this.